What's up guys, Iceman here. So in this video, I'm gonna show off my Nova Sork in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, I just respect this woman. She was a Fire Sork, and Fire's a great way to go, of course, early on for Diablo 2 in general, because Fire skills can really kill shit pretty quick. And you can make Leaf Staff, for example. Very cheap, very easy to make Staff. You just need a two-socketed staff that's non-magic, non-rare, non-unique, and you can make this rune word out of it, and it'll hold on to whatever skills it has pre-rolling it into leaf, so you can find one that already has two to fireball, like in this example. So leaf is absolute toad. Have some MF items here, and I'm working to make two regular sapphires because they give 24 mana each i just want some mana and uh what you really could use for this build i think is mana per kill and so far i only have two mana per kill in total on this character and it comes from this staff that's that's quite useless otherwise but since i just respect i decided to try it out so first off maybe i'll go to the catacombs now this sorceress is level 24 and I put one point into Thunderstorm. Wow, yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, the lightning effects, I think, uh, look nice. In fact, I haven't even tried the other skills. So here's lightning. Looks good, sounds good. Yeah, the sound in D2R is nice. It's a nice addition, I think. I think they, uh, they redid a lot of sound effects, to my understanding. Here's chain lightning, which probably looks similar, only it chains. Uh, very low damage, but yeah, so I have Thunderstorm, 1 to 100, and I'm curious to see if this Wyman can duel some. I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Now, what's kind of bothersome to me about uh, the Sorceress and her setup of skills is that you can't put Nova on your left click. Now, this is something that they fixed in some Diablo 2 mods. They allow you to put Nova on your left click, for example, in Project Diablo 2, the mod that I've been playing a lot. Now, I don't think this is asking for too much for Blizzard to maybe allow for us to put skills like Nova on our left click and put Blizzard on the left click as well. See, because I don't think you can put Blizzard on the left click either in Resurrection, because you can't do that in LOD Classic. However, you can do that on modded versions of Diablo 2, like Project Diablo 2, and I think Path of Diablo as well. So that's something that's very simple and that I think should be done, because the problem is then you're just stuck into switching your Nova and Teleport skill constantly. And it's just it's just a lot of unnecessary button presses, because you gotta constant you gotta go to Nova and then back to teleport every time you want to teleport again after emitting some Novas. So yeah, that can be really annoying, I think. But uh, So let me know in the comments if you guys think that's something that should definitely uh, be fixed. Because why the hell wouldn't it be? It's not gonna... It's still keeping, you know, Diablo 2 as it should be, I think, in terms of uh, not changing shit. From LOD Classic, which isn't exactly what I want, but I know many are waging for that. But uh, just, you know, let us put some skills in the left click. It'll just make life easier. And it'll make me want to experiment more with builds like this. Of course, there's still the alt thing going on where you hold alt and see you can open up chests, for example, you can enter doorways, or you can open and close doors. Uh, you can go into like Duriel's uh, lair, for example. Uh, all of which you're not supposed to be able to do while holding alt because it can it can become very problematic so hopefully uh, they'll change that glitch as well but I, I guess we'll see so right now i kind of just got to get used to switching from teleport to nova so here's thunderstorm it casts every once in a while i don't know if it's clear how often it casts let's take a look yeah so it uh it's not clear how often it class but, so at level 30, I could put one in Lightning Mastery if I get there. So let's see how she does in the tomb runs. I'm gonna I'm gonna join. Maybe I'll I'll go to a tomb just now in a solo, 
and then perhaps I'll try to join a public game and try the tomb runs out there with more players because of course they're going to be doing uh, or the monsters are going to have higher HP so I'm going to go check out that real quick so here I am now in the Arcane Sanctuary uh, again I think uh, this area looks very nice check it out you can see the stars and gases and shit in the background so I think it looks pretty good uh, this will be very visually pleasing I think now, of course, many are arguing this, that, you know, Blizzard should let the mods commence for these, uh, for D2R. Because right now it's kind of up in the air if we're going to be able to have a Project Diablo 2 resurrected or not. And uh, I think there's even a petition or something like that, for whatever that's worth. Uh, someone linked it in one of my video descriptions. But that's really going to make or break the longevity of this. Because look at how epic this shit looks. Like, this is great, but, uh, you know, do we really... I mean, they should let they should let us mod this game, right? They, sh they should have uh, Project Diablo 2 resurrected. Path of Diablo resurrected. Uh, Median XL resurrected. And so forth. It's really going to help retain its longevity. Because as fun as battle runs are, you know, who the fuck's going to want to do that for the next 10 or 15 years? You know, we need the mods and shit. Just like how how Bethesda, you know, they have Skyrim and Oblivion. Uh, Skyrim now has been around for 10 years almost. And it's just alive and well because of the modding community. And Bethesda, as far as I know, they even embrace such things. They, like, they, they acknowledge the modding community. Uh, it just sounds like something uh, so unusual to hope for Blizzard to do. Because uh, they just, it seems that they tend to act like those things don't exist. Uh, just like they act like their true fans don't really fucking exist. But, I don't know, may maybe this stuff will change. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so I have some nice gloves here. Good things to look out for early on. Some MF, a little bit of res, and uh, even poison length reduction, a nice mod to have. Even the noises, yeah, I could hear the monsters making strange noises. All new stuff. Of course, the character voices, uh, as I was hoping, are the same. But the problem is, and uh, I know many of you actually agreed with me on this, voices don't match the characters anymore. Because these just aren't the same characters, you know, these are, these are different people. Uh, so that's another thing. If, if they could bring back the old characters, uh, that would be great. Because then they would match their voices, and uh, among other things. Yeah, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. So I'm going to join a public game real quick, and uh, let's see if I can uh, find any runs going on this right now. So here's another glitch going on in the beta right now. This is the shared stash tab, one of the three. And for whatever reason, you can't switch items out. You see this? So you have to move them all individually to free spaces and you can't uh, switch one with another. However, you can do that on the personal stash. So it's just uh, just kind of strange. So there's still that going on along with the alt glitch. And uh, probably more. I'm going to check out some polls and uh, see what folks are saying when it comes to uh, the most noticeable and annoying glitches. But this is a dual game. Shit, it looks like there's actually a lot uh, in it right now. Now, this is a very poor build for dueling. Uh, Nova, of course, it's known for its AoE. So when you're just trying to do single target, it can really suck. Oh, interesting. There's, uh, there's the Oak Sage, I assume. That's the first I've seen of one in Resurrected. Let me go to... Yep, that's the Oak Sage, all right. There's the Chimpkins. Okay, so there's the Sorceress right here. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's tough. Yeah, look at that. Holy shit. Uh, very high resistance, apparently. <laughs> there's the bear, uh, the werebear. Look pretty cool. Yeah, and I think the paladins look pretty good. 
Uh, I don't think the face matches the original model, but yeah, the uh, how you can see all the individual items, that's really cool. How they look as though they do in your inventory. Uh, I think the auras look very nice. So, things like that. And uh, let's see what it's looking like over here with the duels. I'm out sword by a sword. What? Nice. Barbarian looks cool. There's Werebear. He runs kind of fucked up. Like he got a limp or something, but he looks okay. Oh shit. Yeah, I, I'm probably not going to be able to do uh, next to any damage. Because uh, Nova just sucks for duels. And I'm, I'm still thinking it's on my left click. Because I'm uh, too familiar now with playing Project Diablo 2. We can have the luxury of having it on your left click. Look at that. Charge it in. Holy shit. Yeah, very thick. Uh, very fast. Well, let me know what you guys think about PD2 so far. Or Diablo 2 Resurrected so far. In the comments below. There's Blizzard. I think Blizzard looks very nice. Apparently she's not uh, hostile against me. But yeah, Blizzard looks great, uh, what they've done with it as of the most recent patch. Yeah, this guy, this guy can really beat ass. In Project Diablo 2, of course, you can look at other players' gear. I think that's just something that would be nice to have in D2R. So, but of course, they didn't have that in the original. So maybe it's asking for too much. But it's nice when you can look at other folks' gear. But of course, some might argue that uh, we don't want that. Because then you can kind of see what they have going on. Then you might not want to duel them in the first place. Whereas if you don't know, didn't know what gear they had, you'd still might duel them. So, I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this stuff in the comments below. Like the video if you haven't. Become a patron if you want. More D2R videos coming. And more PD2 videos coming. So I'll talk to you all soon. Peace be with you.